Brooklyn Carter will lead things off for Washington. key for Jordy is to have late break with her pitches. Kind of has balls that stay on the outer half, outer half of the plate to lefties, inner half to righties. But if she can tunnel those pitches for as long as possible, that's where she's going to make her money. It can be difficult to slap against the pitcher with movement. Doubly or even triply so here when facing Jordy Ball. Yeah, there's no way that you could be running away from that pitch, Nicole, and be able to slap it for a base hit. Also helps whenever you have such a solid catcher behind the plate like Bradwell working to frame those pitches, bring them back over the plate, and get them called for strikes. Chopped up foul. Said it last no game, and I'll say it again. These batteries are so important to be able to oh, yeah. work in tandem with one another, to know each other's next move, what they want, what they're anticipating. So, so important. That one sent foul as well. Yeah, there's certainly appreciation for it. It's all Washington fan site said ode to the battery as Ruby had that celebratory moment at the end of Super Regional. She gets the final out. And there was appreciation for that pitcher-catcher tandem on the Washington side, and Nebraska certainly so as well. We've seen that huge surge of momentum for this program. Good battle here from the sophomore. We saw a moment ago that infield was in tight. It's because Carter might be honestly one of the fastest people that I have ever seen. The amount of yep. speed that she has on her is ridiculous. She looks like she's barely moving and then boom, she's there. Hasn't gotten the chance to use that speed just yet. This will be the eighth pitch from Ball to Carter. And what a way to lead off the game. As a leadoff, your job yeah. is to let the other hitters see a lot of pitches, see what the movement looks like, see the speed, see where the strike zone is getting called. That one sent away again. The ninth pitch from ball to quarter. said this is no matter what a productive at bat for Brooklyn Carter ball has her first Nebraska strikeout and Jordy is that type of pitcher she's going to get a lot of K's especially on that pitch it's that screwball that tails down and out so hard to distinguish when it's a strike and when like that one it just continues to fall off out of the zone such a good pitch by ball Carter kept swinging kept protecting and eventually Jordy came home with one that was absolutely unhittable doing Solis hits now for the Huskies Riley Holtorf behind her Sid Stewart Kinsey Fiedler Alana Johnson Brooke Nelson Vin Glab and Avery Hopsett the opening nine for Heather Tarr and Washington Firm swing there from Silas, but you could tell she was late. She could see her body physically moving backwards to create space for her hands. Jordy Ball throws in the upper 60s. It's tough whenever it's the first, the first pitcher that you face all year. Yeah. 
that kind of speed you can train off of a machine but to see it live in person it's yeah. difficult and you have an arm like ruby malin who has that speed but not quite the downward movement that Jordy Ball has. That's, again, hard to replicate. I was going to say, both these teams are certainly excited to face somebody not on their own pitching staff just because of the dynamic ability that both squads sport in the circle. But even though both have really, really good pitchers, they are different, and that certainly poses the real challenge. That's the same pitch, more or less, that got Carter out. Feliz does not follow it. <laughs> that break is untouchable. And a 2-3 to three put out for insurance. That off speed. Talked about tunneling, being able to hide those pitches on the same plane for as long as you can to fool those hitters. That off speed 